In the 1960s, the United States deployed the CH-47 Chinook Heavy Transport Helicopter, which was not only highly praised, but also one of the main equipment of many countries today. However, the United States was clearly not satisfied and wanted to continue exploring the potential of this aircraft. Thus, the BV-347 was born. The development of the BV-347 began in January 1969 when Boeing modified a CH-47A transport helicopter to test various conceptual technologies and explore the next generation of heavy transport helicopters. The modified helicopter was called the BV-347, and flight testing began in May 1970. Compared to the CH-47A, the aircraft underwent significant changes. The cabin was extended by 110 inches, about 2.8 meters. The original four-point landing gear was replaced with retractable landing gear. The two sets of three-blade rotors were replaced with four-blade rotors, and each rotor blade was increased by 30 inches, about 0.76 meters, in length. The engine was replaced with the Lycoming T55L11, and an electric transmission control system was adopted. In addition, two special devices were added to the aircraft. One is a cockpit that can be raised and lowered under the fuselage, and the other is detachable wings. Both of these are experimental designs. The raised and lowered cockpit can assist the pilot in performing special operations. The pilot can sit in the raised and lowered cockpit, facing the tail of the aircraft to control it. This design may be useful for helicopters like the CH-47, making it easier for the pilot to observe the tail of the aircraft and perform hovering in special terrains, such as cliffs. However, some people have raised safety concerns about this design because the pilot is in a completely different posture when flying the aircraft, and limited visibility increases the possibility of accidents. Moreover, when the helicopter is descending at high speed, the raised and lowered cockpit may not have enough time to retract into the fuselage, and the pilot may be crushed. The detachable wings are located on the upper sides of the middle section of the fuselage, and the trailing edge of the wings has flaps controlled by hydraulic systems, which can deflect the angle of attack of the wings up to 90 degrees. This wing system can generate lift during normal flight, increasing the aircraft's speed and ceiling. When landing, flying at low speeds and other states, the wings can be deflected to 90 degree without affecting the rotor airflow. The BV-347 flew a total of 734 hours, and its overall performance was improved. The maximum flight speed of the aircraft exceeded 333 kilometers per hour. The added wings did not affect the helicopter's control performance in low-speed and hovering states. The engine efficiency during hovering was higher than that of the CH-47C model, and it had better longitudinal stability during flight. Simple trim changes were needed when transitioning between climbing, descending, and level flight, reducing the pilot's workload. The noise and vibration levels in the cockpit were also better than those of the CH-47C model. It can be said that the BV-347 was successful. The added wings indeed optimized the helicopter's operational control, which is especially useful for large helicopters. This design has been adopted by many aircraft models, such as the short wings of armed helicopters, which serve a similar purpose. However, the raised and lowered cockpit of the BV-347 seems to be of little use, as no officially deployed helicopter has adopted this design. The BV-347 was not in service for long and was retired after a series of tests in the early 1970s. It was later transferred to the U.S. Army Aviation Museum.